What is up, guys? Back with another video. We're going to be talking about Bancor. I've been getting a lot of questions about Bancor. I've seen plenty of people hyping it up, ripping it up. Crypt, uh, crypto has been hyping it up. And I wanted to like really take a look at it and, uh, and weigh my options. And it seems like a very, very good project. Um, I think that it's going to be a winner um, simply because uh, it's going to eliminate a lot of the the legwork for these uh, people who want to come up and build their own companies on the blockchain and they don't have a, a, an experienced uh, code writer to do stuff like that. They're stepping in and they're being the middleman and saying, hey, all you got to do is let us know what you want to do. We'll do it. We'll build it for you, do the legwork for you and uh, be that mediator. So I think they're going to be very successful as far as when they're bringing all these other people uh, into the space, the crypto space, and wanting to go public with their own ICO by doing the legwork for them and just charging them basically a fee. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how that works out. I think it's going to work out for them very well. Um, the only thing that bothers me about Bancor, like I said, is the fact that it is going to have a hidden cap. And to me, a hidden cap insinuates you're not confident and reaching your goal. Now, they know, Bancor knows how much they really need, the number amount. They know how much they need to actually get this thing started and uh, bring it from concept to reality. They already know that. They're already in test phase, uh, beta test phase, uh, over on the Ethereum network. And so they know exactly what they need. They know the number. It bothers me that they are not confident enough to put that out there if they want a cap and saying this is what we need and we believe we can get it in 14 days uh, that tells me that either they're they are by having a hidden cap they're either um, very not confident on getting what they need or they're greedy and they're afraid to miss out on the extra of what they could get so that's why i see a hidden cap as and i think that if you're going to have a hidden cap that's exactly you're worried about those two things. You're worried about coming up short and you're worried about not being able to capture um, possibly the extra that you could. So it's basically saying I need $10 million to get this up and running, but I would really like to get $30 million, right? And so I'm going to set my hidden cap at 30 to $35 million to test the market and see what we can get. And if we get up to 30 something million and the, and the cap is reached, then we're done. But it's just not being transparent with, um, with the audience and whoever's uh, trying to support. It's not being honest at all. And that's what bothers me is because they should already know their numbers and the fact that, that they're not putting it out there is uh, it's concerning me. But uh, I would rather them just come out and say they don't have a cap, just have an open cap and everybody will be able to get in because you know, if you just saw what happened to Bat, you saw what happened to these couple of these other ones, when they sell out in 24 seconds, you know, they're exactly trying to drum up enough hype like that, like the Bat token, where it sells out in 24 seconds. They want to be funded quickly. And um, these are the little tricks and games that people do to, to have that happen. Um, but I think they're going to be successful either way. I just find it a little odd to, to play with uh, the community in that way and not just be pretty up for uh, front about your intentions. But other than that, bat, I mean, not bat, sorry, uh, Bancor is going to be a success. I'm just going to wait for it to hit the market and uh, then trade on it. But I'm not going to participate in ICO. Um, for one, like I just said, I don't really trust what they're doing. Uh, as far as the information, but I'm also not, probably won't even have a chance to even buy anything in ICO because it might just be gone <laughs> in 24 seconds. So uh, if it hits their hidden cap, but let me know how you feel about it. And if you're going to be trying to participate in it. Um, if you feel like they're going to be a success, if they're not, what's up wife? One second. And um, yeah, definitely catch me on steam it where the videos, the blogs, Never stop, and I will catch you guys in the next video.